this is the Wildwood Canyon Interloop Trail located just outside of Oak Glen, California. And the hike is about four miles long, about 850 feet of elevation gain. And you'll start here in the parking lot, plenty of parking through the gate here. That way no cars can get past this point. And you're gonna walk to a little, kind of a welcoming area. You have some picnic tables there and you have some neighbors to the right. There's some private property bathrooms to get started if you need to do that and they have signs posted just kind of to keep you out of the area near the residents that live there and those signs are pretty far off but if you stay on the trail here you're going to walk up ahead and then you're going to veer left you could veer right if you wanted to it meets back up but this is the more defined trail to the left and i think the views are better and things aren't nearly as overgrown so if you walk through here up along the ridge here the only thing you have to worry about is poison oak in this area for that first mile or so uh, sometimes it grows onto the trail just keep an eye out for that but this part of the hike here is probably the most prettiest I think it's shaded it's nice and covered well uh, so you're gonna go through that clearing and you can see the gorges that the horses leave there in the trail there so it keeps it pretty well defined keeps things from growing on the trail but in some parts it is overgrown with all the water that we've gotten this year if you look straight ahead here this is a clearing where uh, people will park their horses there's a trough there there used to be bathrooms there's a little picnic table by the oak tree right there you can sit and take a rest before you continue on but this is only about maybe a half to three quarter miles into the trail so far so you'll continue straight and you see a little property there that's been there for you know i guess years uh, no one lives there now. You can go up to it, check it out, but you're going to continue along the trail. And here's where you can go left. That's where you're going to want to go. The other way goes up to the ridge line, which I did a video about earlier. And you can see it cruises by that little house out there. It's boarded up. You can't enter it. But you'll continue along here. And then you're going to make a right um, at the junction that's coming up here. And this is a nice part of the trail too because it kind of goes out to the flat along the um the inner loop there and that's you know you can see a lot of animals at this point um and this is where i come across a lot of people riding horseback you know a lot of people on all trails complained about the the horse poop on the the trail but i mean for me it's like big deal right i mean it's a horse trail and you share it and the people have always been so accommodating and so nice to my daughter and myself when we come across horses. So I'd rather much see horse poop on the trail than trash or plastic bottles, you know. So this is part's a little tricky here. It kind of splits off into a Y. You can go to the left. And that brings you to a different por portion. But if you keep to the right here, which I've missed a few times, this will bring you to the highest point of the loop, which is about, you know, another half mile. Got some uh, nice oak trees there when you walk through. Um, I always think I'm going to come across wildlife here. I never really have, but um, it just seems like this would be a place they would like to hang out. That's just my own personal opinion. But you're going to walk here. You're going to head up to the left here, and this is going to be the highest point on the trail. This is about the halfway point. It is about two miles at this point. This is the top part of the loop before you start ascending back down. So the whole, tr the whole loop really follows around the base of the mountain there so if you look here this is the highest point you can see Moreno Valley you can actually see Lake Paris on a clear day a little haze in the background there but there's a little vertical view from the drone there a little overhead shot that I wanted to make sure I got in there my daughter's like yeah you need to get that shot in there I'm like all right so I will feed that right in so you'll go down you'll continue along here uh, the scenery is a lot like it has for the you know last mile. It continues just to be um, really nice, beautiful time of year to do it. Uh, I did this hike in June, the first day of June. And you see some of the blooms that are still out. Not nearly as much as when I was there in April. We have some horseback riders coming through there. Always, like I said, the people have been nothing but gracious and nice uh, every time we've come across horseback riders. And so here's the big flat area. I've seen multiple deer and other animals along this part of the trail. And you're gonna walk along this ridge line here. Um, and then you can see out the flats there. Lots of the times you can see deer uh, just running around there. So you're gonna make a hard right here. You can continue straight, not sure where that goes. 
Um, all the stuff really goes back to the main parking lot, so you really can't get lost. So you're gonna come up to this barn here, and people tie their horses off, little horse stables, a porta potty there as well. And in a moment, you're gonna see a red circle. In that red circle, if you look closely, you can see a coyote walk right through that red circle there. Uh, look like a well-fed coyote. First time I've seen a coyote. So up here, you have that ridge line trail that's running perpendicularly with our trail. You're gonna hit this at a hard left. And this is pretty much a straight shot right back to the parking lot in about three quarters of a mile or so. There's our drone there moving around. We're gonna make our way back down through this gate here, just walk right over. There's some informational signs there you can stop and read if you'd like about the park. A residence to the right, and now we are back to where we started in the parking lot. So appreciate you watching the Wildwood Canyon Interloop Trail, and yay, yay! See you out there.